taking notes. All right. So here we go. Yeah, it's recording my voices and it's capturing what I'm doing on the screen. So we're going to be working on the density equation here a little bit. Hmm? What do you think? All right, so what, what is the density equation? All right, so D equals M over V, right? D, of course, means density. M is mass. V, of course, is volume. This equation is useful to you when you know the math, uh, when you know the mass and the volume of a particular object, and you're trying to calculate the density. Now, what's going to happen if I give you the density of an object and the volume of an object, but I want you to tell me what the mass would be, be able to predict what the mass would be? What we're going to do is manipulate this equation, all right? So I'm, I'm going to take this equation and do a little bit of algebra here, OK? Now, here's my equation. What I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by v. And you should know from your math classes when you have an equation that that's an equal statement. It's equality. The word equal is built right into the word equation. So if I multiply both sides by V, what happens? This V and this V should cancel, right? So those two Vs cancel, and then the equation is going to look like this, V times D equals M. Now, why would we want this? Right. So you're going to use this. to find mass if the volume of an object and the density of that object is known or are known. All right? Now, what if I take a known volume out of it, and I'm asking you to predict volume if I give you the mass of an object and the density of that object. So here's the question again. What if? You know the density and the mass. <clears throat> and you need to 
predict the volume. Annalise, your hand up. Tell me. Yeah, but let me show how that gets there. Annalise just said it's going to be V equals M over D, but I want to show the algebra steps for how to get there. So here's, here's my equation again. What I'm going to do is write that down. And I'm going to divide both sides by D. Now, for some of you, this might seem like child's play, right? Oh my gosh, this is so simple. And that's fine. But some people need the algebra review, so I'm going through it. Okay? What happens when this division by D on both sides occurs? Well, what that means is that I've got D on the numerator and the denominator on this side of the equation, which means this would cancel. D's on the left side of my equal side cancel. So then my equation becomes this, V equals M over D, as Anna Lee correctly predicted. All right? So if I give you a quiz like this, What you're going to do right now, all right, I'm going to hand this out. You're going to do this now. You're going to work together collaboratively. Then we'll go through the answers, all right? You need to be able to manipulate that equation. The other thing you need to be able to do is construct a graph, and you need to calculate slope. Do you all know how to calculate slope? Uh, slope is M. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You need to be able to do that. In a while now, I will feel better. I'll face the weather being.